Hey, Simon here from Simon Says Cycling. Today I'm talking about your functional threshold power. This is a term you may hear quite a bit these days. What is that? Well, your functional threshold power is the amount of power output you can put out, averaged over an hour effort. Typically it would be a 40 kilometer time trial. What is the average power if you went all out? What could you average over that kind of duration? That's what we call your functional threshold power. Now, the standard way to test for that these days is to do a 20-minute time trial, the same thing all out for 20 minutes sustained, and then times that number by 95%. And that, in theory, is the, roughly the average power that you would be able to then sustain for an hour. And this is also how we determine power zones these days using the Andy Kogan Hunter Allen method. We use this 20-minute test times it by 95% and figure out your functional threshold power. Now, even if you don't train with a power meter, why is the functional threshold power important? Well, if you don't have that sustained depth of, of strength and threshold power, the ability to sustain a hard effort over a long period of time, even if you are a good sprinter, even if you are a good climber, even if you are um, you know, good at the end in short efforts, you're not gonna be there at the end because you're not gonna have that depth of strength to be there. So that's why it's so critical to, to work on this duration um, for your overall long-term gains in strength and speed. So what are the, the training, what kind of training can you do to improve your functional threshold power? Well, after years and years of um, you know, training and working on this, the things that I've seen work for improving your functional threshold power, your ability to put out a lot of power over an hour or less, um, would be going out there and doing long, sustained intervals right under your threshold, so some people call it sweet spot or sub-threshold, right under that, that 20 minute, um, you know, average times 95%, that, that functional threshold, right under that number to do sustained efforts. Now it could start with 20 to 30 minutes, but you could build that up to even an hour, even two hours. The pros are doing, you know, a lot of long efforts at that duration. On top of that, you could do harder, even above, slightly above your threshold, do 10 minute efforts at that intensity. Time trials is a great way to become stronger at your sustained ability to put out power. Uh, time trials is a big one. If you have a monthly time trial series in your area, I'd definitely recommend doing that. Another thing you can do is if you're somebody who does a lot of group rides, you're probably not training um, at that intensity that's going to give you improvements uh, at your in, in functional threshold power. So what I recommend is instead of going and doing all the group rides, maybe swap one of the group rides for a ride where you go out on your own and you do two hours at a, at a very hard pace, a very hard pace that you can sustain, but it's, it's not easy. And that's going to give your um, functional threshold power a big boost uh, in my experience. So hope you guys enjoyed those tips. Go out there, have fun, and thanks for watching.